All right, I'm going to do another collection update. It's been a while since I last did one, and a few things have changed. Got the SGC 120 on the floor now. I don't know if it was in the last update or not, but built a new rolling base for it, so I can push it across the floor if I have to. I have changed out the sheaves on it, all brass, just to see if it would help raise or lower the boom easily, which it didn't help at all really. I think it's the line, it's too thick. So that's going to be my next option is change all the line, something smaller. I didn't change the sheaves on the block though because can't really get it apart. And I don't want to tear it up trying to, so I left it alone. Those actually roll pretty well. That's another reason why I didn't change them. It's the Potane 178. Hidden back there. LR 1600, four extension kits. Inside it is the 8800. It also has four extensions and the boom booster. LR 1300. LR 1750 with the Weiss Brothers bridge girder. PTC. New one that I got a couple, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago or so. The LTM 1250. Beside it, my AC 500. It's finally finished. All the decals and extras I've done to it. LRB 255. Beside it is the sparings. Uh, 599 something, I think. It's the mobile tower crane. I got that at DHS for 150 bucks on the scratch and dent shelf. The only thing that I found that was wrong with it was that little bracket right there was missing, so I had to make one. Pretty easy to fix. Other than that, it was pretty much brand new, so couldn't pass that up. Potane Igo, the Bauer BG40. HS855, drag line, the uh, MC96 from Bauer, trench cutter head. And here, the LTM 1800, the Derrick and Luffer. Short jib on it. LTM 1500 Cobelco 2750 11200 
with the Weiss Brothers nacelle. Back there, the LR1280 and uh, Superlift 3800. If you watch my videos long enough, you know I used to have a black 1280, but I sold it and got a yellow one instead. The LG 1550. AC 1000. Weiss Brothers spreader bars and rigging. Down here, all extra boom sections and jibs, counterweights. Trucks. And these three shelves have all the heavy equipment. Up here, the LTM 1400 with Luffer. PTC spreader plates and some outrigger pads, jersey barriers, cribbing, uh, GMK 4115, AC 100, 5130, ATC 3200, AC 200, AC 250, LTM 1200, the link belt 3275, <clears throat> the GMK 6300, LTM 1300, 1350 back there. Uh, 1500 boom extensions and the link belt 8675 or 8670. Some hook blocks, spreader plates. A GMK 7550. Those are Weiss Brothers uh, mats, photo etch mats. Really nice. Up there, mostly rough terrain cranes and small truck cranes. Another 8670 or 75, whichever one. Uh, Weiss Brothers boom display table for the 650. I don't have it on there right now. Oh, and another new thing, the Weiss Brothers Boom Lamp, pretty cool. And over here, the Weiss Brothers Spreader Bars and Rigging. Uh, Lee Bear 630 ECH tower crane. Uh, 
uh, four 4100 cr cranes. Crawler, drag line, tower crane, ringer. Next, triple five, triple nine, M250, 16,000. That's a new one, a triple nine. I'll try and get a review of it up sometime. Because I know a lot of people don't have it and probably would like to see it. I really like it. I think it's better than the M250. Just seems like better quality, even though it's by the same maker. 16,000 MLC 300, MLC 650. MLCs are both Series 2. I do have a boom extension for the 300. I just haven't put it in yet. The 18,000. Down here, uh, 16 line called Hoffer. And Nelson, <clears throat> three by three by three. And last but not least, newest edition. My favorite, 31,000. If y'all didn't know, this is the prototype from Con Expo 2008. This was built to uh, announce that Manitowoc is going to be building the 31,000. This is what they used to show it off. Show what it would look like mostly. The functions. <clears throat> this was made by TWH. It is all resin. And it's 10 years old, so it's a little rough. There were no counterweights with it, but it uses 16,000 or 18,000 weights. I gotta do a little bit of work to it. Add some new line. I don't have enough really for anything. But it is 10 years old and it's plastic, so. And it was made before the real crane was made, so. It doesn't exactly look like it, but it's really really close uh, it did, didn't come with a hook block that's the 8800 block I'll have to make one for it it stands at around nine feet tall and it's really big It is 150 a scale, so. And it looks like a lot of it can come apart for transport or loads. Screw connections. Pin connections. The only thing that I've noticed that doesn't really come apart for transport, like the real one, is the tray. This is all one piece. The real one, these three pieces split down into sections. 
and the drums they can come off but they're not each separate so and they're all like one casting but it can come off from the body <clears throat> not sure about the cab yet or the tracks I haven't tried to take anything apart yet but I do hope to make an assembly video but it does work the rotate it's pretty smooth and the VPC does work stretches out pretty far and it can go all the way in if I push it all the way in it will want to tip over if I boom it up it'll stand up There's just extra handrails and pins. Here's the other side. I'll try and make a bunch of videos with this because nobody has really seen it since Con Expo. Nobody really knows about it. <clears throat> this isn't the gray one, this is the other one. It is really, really nice. Got etched walkways and stuff, ladders, rolling sheaves. You can't really see that one. But it all, for the most part, works. I just tied that off for now until I get some new string. But I'm super happy that it's finally in my room. So, yeah, that's the collection. don't really know if I'll get anything else the rest of the year. IMC is coming out with the AC700. I might get the Mammut version. I'm not sure yet. That or Sarens if they come out with it. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Because <clears throat> I have to pay for this obviously so yeah been an expensive year and can't really get too many more models I'm running out of space I know I say that in every video Thirty-one thousand wall. Articles from magazines I cut out. So yeah, here's the collection. Sorry, it was a long video. Try to go as fast as I could. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.